Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my wax empties for November uh, wax and candle empties and it's going to be a long one. Uh, I got a lot I went through so uh, if you haven't, uh, you don't have a drink or a snack, you might want to get one now. Um, but I'll try to do this quickly. Uh, so yeah, I will start with the candles. Uh, so yeah, I'm finally sitting down to film here. Uh, I, I worked the past couple days at the hospital, 12 hour shifts. And I tell you, I came home and I said to Frank last night, I said, I need to retire. I, I, I said to him a, uh, a few years ago, I will, you know, continue to work part time till I'm 60 and I'll do your paperwork and everything. But oh my God, after, after the last couple of days, I'm, I'm rethinking all that. I told him last night, yeah, I, I no. I'm going to I'll try to get to 58 and then I'll retire. Uh, that's another couple, my, well, another couple of years. Uh, but yeah, it's good. Especially, I mean, it's hard enough uh, mentally and physically doing nursing, but you got the pandemic on top of it. No, it's just. But he said, oh, he goes, that's fine. Retire whenever. Uh, doesn't matter. But he says, remember, you won't be able to shop as much. And I'm like, all right. Ooh, yeah, I got to think about that. <laughs> so, okay, let's get started here. Um, the first one uh, was a Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And this was a 2019 pour. And there's a lot of residue on the side, but it didn't burn. It burned fine. And it was good, you know, decent throw. And it's just a classic Bath & Body Works fall scent that I really, really enjoy. And this is um, a woodwick. Now I'm probably take one more. Uh, actually, I'm going to throw this in the candle prison. It's a woodwick, and as you can see, the wick has shifted over a little bit, so it was kind of sitting on the side there. So I kind of wiped off the soot there. But it's like um, that ombre effect. It's kind of gold, and it kind of turns purplish up here. Um, and it was on clearance at the SAS sale. Uh, a year or two ago. It's called Dark Poppy. And yeah, I'm going to put this in Candle Prison because uh, the wick shifted. Also, with the scents, um, I could smell it about a foot away and that's it. And uh, it's too bad because it was a really good, deep, musky kind of floral. So I really did enjoy it. It's kind of fruity, floral, musky. Um, but yes, I will throw that in Candle Prison and um, finish that up. And uh, this is Hot Coca and Cream. And this was a uh, 2018 pour. Uh, good throw. Uh, smells like that little Nestle powder that... Um, remember those cans? Uh, if, you're, if you're old enough, do you remember those can, steel cans and you had to put the knife under to pop the lid for the powder? Uh, that's what it smells like. Um, I really do enjoy this one. i uh, got a few backups. Uh, Love that one. And uh, Jules uh, melted this mostly in his room. So uh, when it was about three quarters of the way done, I put it in my room just to enjoy it myself. And that's Raspberry Mimosa. And that was just from this year. Yeah, this was just from this year. I really did like it. Uh, usually I'm not overly into fruity scents. It depends. But this one I really did. It's just a light, bright, effervescent kind of raspberry. So um, no issues with the burn. Very strong throw. I could smell this in the hallway uh, right down to my room. So it was a very good uh, throw. And this was Yankee Candles uh, Tumbler Sweet Maple Chai. Now I usually didn't have a lot of luck with their tumblers. Um, uh, I did like their paraffin wax that they used to have years ago. But... Anyway, this one I did have good luck with. Uh, that was a 2019 pour, so yeah, it was last fall. It was actually a very good burn, and uh, it threw quite well. I had this in the kitchen. Now, to smell something throughout the kitchen and have it wander out, uh, you need a pretty strong candle. Uh, but this one did actually fill up my candle and wander off a little bit, so I was really quite impressed with it. Um, the scent was good. Uh, not a lot of companies can do like a true maple, but this was pretty close to it. So, yeah, I really quite enjoy that candle. And then, uh, oh yes, here we go. Just gave 
gave you a little visual there. Oh, yeah. I do like this flannel. It does smell like Jason. Getting a little scrub down there. Um, good throw. Good burn. Love that one. And this is a DW, uh, oh, this is a sister company of DW, uh, 96. And I know you're all thinking about 69 after you saw that picture, but this is 96, a sister company of DW candle, Apple Blossom. I did not get a lot of apple out of this one. I got more of a woodsy, smoky kind of scent. Um, it was a two wick, uh, pretty good throw. About a 7 out of 10, I would say. Good burn. Um, yeah, I just wish there was a little more apple in it, but uh, I did like enjoy that scent. Uh, this is Sparkling Pear Riesling, which was poured this year. And I love the color of this uh, jar. It's like a chartreuse green. And again, um, this is just a nice uh, fall scent that's kind of different from your usual fall scents. It does uh, smell a little bit. I like that wine that was kind of being um, hanging out in an oak barrel for a while. Oh, I really, really like this one. Um, I think I do have one left, um, and I hope it comes back again next year. And uh, yeah, good burn. And then this is uh, Spiced Apple Toddy, and I think this was from two years ago, yeah, 2018. Again, a very rich, deep... Uh, apple scent. Um, it does have that little hint of uh, toddy in there, I would say. Um, it's just very rich, rich and deep and sweet. <sighs> Get that one every year. Uh, this is, uh, oh, when was this from? When were you from? I can't read it. Anyway, um, apple pumpkin Apple pumpkin pancakes. Now, I burned this at the beginning of the month. I can't quite remember, but I do remember enjoying it. I just can't quite remember the burn or throw, but um, it, it is a good scent. And this is pumpkin pecan waffles. And I wasn't too impressed with the labels that year. Didn't look like they put a lot of effort into it. Uh, 2018. And yeah, this one's this one fills up the house basically, and no issues with the throw or the burn or the wicks or anything like that. And this is the classic leaves and 2018 pour. I'm going, I'm trying to go through my stash and pick out like the older candles and kind of work my way up to the present. Um, but yeah, that was, labels were great that year. Really like that one. So yeah, classic leaves. Um, never get tired of that one. Uh, this is, uh, Lemon Mint Leaf. Uh, Jules had this in his room. He was doing a major cleanup. And, yeah, this one's so good. It's so bright. And it, it's good year-round, like, when you're cleaning or what have you. Or, it's just so good. It's just a perfect blend of lemon mint. It's bright. It's soothing at the same time. Oh, I never get tired of that one either. And then there is Yankee Candles uh, Home Classics. And uh, this is a tumbler that I purchased in uh, one of the discount stores, I believe. Um, it was a beautiful, like visually, it was a very beautiful uh, candle. It had black wax and then again the, um, the white pumpkin and the orange leaves and that against the black wax. Just looks so, so pretty. Um, it kind of reminded me of the uh, uh, Pumpkin Bonfire, is it? From Bath and Body Works. It, it was similar to that. It was such a good scent, but it was light. It was a very good burn, uh, but it was light. You had to be pretty close to, to smell that. And then I got to my wax melts. Now, the new Yankees. So I think I showed on my, uh, I don't know, it was a couple months ago, I showed the autumn leaves, like the new wax melts that Yankee has. I got them for a dollar. Uh, and I um, melted the autumn leaves and it was quite strong, quite long lasting. So I decided to try out this one in um, clean cotton. 
And yeah, I had this in uh, Garrett's room and it's strong. <laughs> like it fills up the room and kind of wanders out in the hallway a bit. And um, I turned it off at night and I got up in the morning and went in and I could still smell it. Not as strong, but I could still smell it um, when it was turned off. So um, it's still going. Um, I, I would say I've had it in the warmer for about 16 hours, I would say. I don't keep track like down to the minute or anything but you know give or take about um 16 hours and it's still it's still going so um yeah if I, I just don't obviously want to go out to the mall right now with the crowds and that but i would definitely uh get some more of these i think i got lavender and the lemon lavender one so i haven't tried that one yet but so far uh two out of two and they're doing really well so um if next time they do have a dollar sale on these i'm definitely going to get some more so far i'm impressed and then there is better homes and gardens crisp fall leaves and these it does smell like crisp fall leaves i mean not exactly i mean crisp fall leaves uh smells kind of like uh, foliage and uh, dirt and dewworms if you really want to be accurate about it but this is this is close enough and yeah uh, it's just really really good I always enjoy that one and this is redwood and cedar uh, by Scentsy now I thought this would be quite a woodsy scent but I ended up getting um, a, a very nice kind of perfumey Cloney scent, well, unisex, you know. Um, I was kind of surprised. I, I thought for sure there'd be some, like a definite wood note. But no, I got a very nice kind of, um, I don't know what you would call it. <laughs> it's a very, it, like, if there uh, was a clone in this, I would wear it. But yeah, I was surprised. It's, it, it was very soft, very musky. It, uh, it had a, like a little bit stronger than a medium throw like it uh, had in the spare room and it did fill up the spare room quite late so you definitely knew it was there it wasn't overwhelming i would have liked to have it stronger but yeah it just kind of threw me off because i was just expecting a wood scent uh, but it's still really quite nice uh sensationals value pack of cinnamon sticky buns i don't know how old this is i finally finished it up because really you only need like one cube uh, like in a small room maybe two in a really large room because it was it's still quite strong i just don't know how old it is um but yeah it's just it's good i liked it and it's like cinnamon sticky buns uh oh here we go mountain man couldn't resist um oh I got one little cube left in here so this one I I always pick up a bit of a, a lemon scent for some reason that's just my nose there there is a woodsiness about it it's very soft there's a hint of a sweet sweetness in there yeah but anyway it's um the wax has really changed color uh, I think it was a light like almost a, like a light brownish green now it's kind of but anyway it still throws okay um this is the gel tin warmer by yankee candle and balsam and clove this is doesn't smell like clove it smells like cinnamon um there's a little bit of evergreen in there but it's more cinnamon than anything and actually this one was a uh, it's only about a medium throw. It's not as strong as some of the gel tins that um, I purchased. Uh, Yankee Candles, uh, Mediterranean Breeze. I just threw this in the uh, powder room. Um, I mean, it was a medium strong. It didn't last too long, though. Uh, Sensi's My Hero. Actually, this was, actually, I really enjoyed this. On cold, I thought, oh, it's, you know, it's not that bad. But when it was melting, it really changed, and I really enjoyed it um, when it was melting. Still got little bits in there. 
Oh, this one's good. This one, I mean, yeah, it's cloney, but even if you don't like cloney scents, this one is actually really quite nice. It was, um, I put in Julian's bathroom and, oh, I just, I just went in there just to smell it. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's soft. It's not cloying or kind of astringent like some clone scents. It was actually really enjoyable. And um, if anyone knows a scent that's similar to this in the Scentsy line, I would like to get something similar to that because I really like that one. This is Autumn Leaves by Yankee Candle in the Gel Tin Warmer. And this was quite strong. Um, Autumn Leaves is a very unique uh, scent. Um, one of my favorite fall scents from Yankee. So I had good luck with that one. And this was uh, Beechwood by Sensationals. Uh, I threw that in the powder room downstairs and it's a clone scent, but uh, I didn't really, didn't really enjoy it. It just uh, was not my favorite. But there's another Beechwood that I really do like and it's Yankee Candles Beechwood. Um, I don't think they carry this in their regular lineup anymore. Um, I've had tarts in this scent that really threw well. I don't know if this is just getting old, but it was pretty light, so um, that was kind of disappointing. Uh, this is Ashlands by Michaels, uh, from Michaels. Uh, I think this was, oh, was this just last year or two years ago? It's toasted almond anyhow. It's hard to find a really good almond scent. This was, this is definitely sweet almonds and cherries. It is so good. I, oh, I really enjoyed this one actually. And it threw quite well and it lasted quite well, which is usually Ashlands don't last that long. They're kind of hit and miss, but I was, this is my last one and I was really happy with it because I really like those sweet almond scents. Uh, this is Buttered Pancakes. Uh, by Sensationals, and I do get the butter. I don't know if it's really an authentic kind of pancake, but I definitely do get that kind of buttery note, and um, yeah, it was decently strong, um, fairly long-lasting. Uh, this is Yankee Candles Vanilla Eggnog. Uh, this one's getting kind of old, so I don't think it had as much uh, punch to it as it used to. Now, on cold, it smells more like eggnog than when it was warming up. I uh, kind of lost that eggnog vibe when it was warming up. But yeah, this just kind of is getting light there. It was okay in a small room, but getting kind of light. Uh, Autumn Afternoon Stroll by Better Homes and Gardens. And this is a dual pack of golden oak leaves, apples, and acorns. And I just melted these together. Uh, individually, they're great, but together, they're even better. Yeah, oh, it's just a woodsy apple leafy scent. A perfect, perfect fall scent. And this is Toasted Pecan Fudge by Sensationals. And yeah, this one was strong, and it was yummy, it was long-lasting, and it smelled like Toasted Pecan Fudge. This is by Glade. This is Elegant Amber and Oud. A couple of scents that I really enjoy. Uh, this one, it just wasn't long lasting. Um, it actually, I would say it filled up my bedroom. Certainly can smell it throughout. Wasn't overwhelming. You definitely knew it was there. It just wasn't very long lasting, but um, I would actually purchase this again because I really did like it. Um, the amber is not a sharp amber. It's more of a woodsy amber because oud is from the agar tree. So yeah, probably my favorite amber scents are the like the woodsy ones. So this was actually very soft and very relaxing. So yeah, even though it wasn't that long lasting, I would probably get it again. Uh, this is Scentsy's Amber Hollow. Yeah, I know some people uh, feel a little sick to their stomach when they think about this one. I like it. There you go. Now this one's a spicy amber. So there's Colony Amber, there's Woodsy Amber, and there's Spicy Amber. And this is definitely, to me, it's a wood, like a food scent. Um, I think uh, uh, Julian remarked on it and thought it was like um, this kind of Thai seasoning he uses in cooking and that. So yeah, either you love it or you hate it. 
but I liked it. It it's it did soften up when it's melting, um, so it it uh, it's not quite as heavy and glowing as it is on cold. But yeah, if you don't like it, you don't like it. But um, but like I've always said, if you don't like some wax uh, poured on your uh, better half, there <laughs> have some fun. Alrighty, uh, this is Holiday Home by Sensationals. And this one was basically a cinnamon scent. But, uh, yeah, it was really light. Like, I was surprised. It was light. Um, so, yeah, I didn't get too much out of that one. Uh, vanilla Antique Wood by Ashlands. So, again, kind of a vanilla, woodsy kind of scent. Um, wasn't overly strong. Um, it was very soft and relaxing. Uh, but it just didn't last too long. And this is uh, Cashmere by Scentsy. And yeah, this was actually, oh, 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 I've heated up, just a sec. Okay, sorry, I overheated with my hot air here. Uh, cashmere, um, yeah, this one is so relaxing. I, I wouldn't call it a laundry scent. Uh, it's a very soft, musky, kind of a sexy, kind of uh, perfect for the bedroom kind of scent. Mm, I really liked it. It's very, very pretty. And then there is Autumn Road Trip by Scentsy. I think this was like apples and pears and silver oak or something like that. So it was fruity, but there to me there was like a, definitely kind of that earthy, not necessarily woodsy, just, just kind of an earthy scent to it. And that filled up probably about half my kitchen or so. It definitely would have done better in like a, a larger room, but I really did enjoy that scent. So that's it, guys. Um, that's what I went through in November. So yeah, I do have a ton. Uh, certainly Julian did uh, play a part in all this. So um, anyway, it's just that time of year when you want to get cozy and uh, what better than you know, curl up with a blanket and a good book and some candles and everything like that. So, oh man, my, my hair is getting so long. I had to tuck it behind my ears because it was just like sticking out every which way. There. But anyway, I'm going to just let it grow. Just something different. So anyway. Um, so anyway, everyone take care. Um, be well. Uh, the hospital I'm working in right now, we're, uh, you know, COVID cases aren't too high at all. So we're doing great. The other ho acute care hospital in the city here had a, a quite a major breakout. Um, so yeah, uh, it's, it's getting tough with all the safety protocols and all the safety measures. It takes twice as long to do something for a patient and it's just, yeah, I know. I should retire. Let me know below if I should retire. Yep or no. <laughs> anyway, um, everyone just be kind to each other and uh, stay safe and uh, we'll get through this somehow. Um, so we'll see everyone later. Bye-bye.